And this is Derek Christian with Cleaning Business Today, and I wanted to continue my series about snowfall. And sorry about the scratch on my face, was playing with my dog and he got me. Uh, but uh, we talked last week about cancellation, but this week I want to talk about something just about as important, which is when you don't cancel. And what I mean is days like today, so hopefully you can see all this. This is just a little bit of snow that we got today. Um, we are not going to cancel for that. Our customers would never understand. Um, but we do need to start considering some things. Those steps I just showed you, which are my steps, Bad Derek, have a pretty good amount of basically snow and actually in our case right now ice on them, which makes them pretty slippery. Now, as an employer, you're responsible for making sure that your employees have a safe workspace. Now, in our circumstance, our workspace happens to be our customers' homes. So we have to make sure that our customers' homes are safe for our employees to go into. So we've got to think through policies and communicate with our customers that they need to shovel their driveways, uh, keep their stairs clear, etc. But snow is going to fall during the day, and what are you going to do about it? Um, a lot of cleaning services I know put same quick dissolve chemical, uh, rocks, not rock salt, but uh, chloride, or I can't remember what it's called, but there is a uh, chemical that will dissolve uh, snow and ice pretty quickly in their vehicles for their employees to use. Once again, you've got to warn customers you're going to do this, though, because some customers uh, might have dogs uh, with sensitivities or might have a uh, stained concrete and don't want you to use it. So you've got to let customers know if you're going to be throwing something out. I know some people who do that. Um, and once again, you've just got to let customers know that, hey, you know, I know it might not seem bad to you, but my people are going to be coming with vacuums and cleaning supplies in their hand. And it's one thing to go outside when you can grab hold of the handrails and go down carefully. It's another thing to go outside when you've got to get in and out of stairs carrying things. And also, once again, if anyone slips, that's a liability in a workers' comp claim. So you do have to take it pretty seriously and think about what you're going to do about bad weather. Another thing you're going to want to think about is snow uh, and when it relates to driving. Uh, auto accidents, as we all know, go way up when it snows. So in our case, we will actually delay the start of the day a little bit, even if the schools don't, because we feel like it's a lot safer for our employees to be on the street when the sun is up and they can actually see ice and such and they're not going to hit ice. Um, so if we've got a snowy day, we will start at 9 instead of 8 and warn all the customers accordingly. Um, just because, once again, I don't want my people on the road at 7.30 when they can't see the ice. Um, it's a lot safer when you can see it. And once the sun comes up around here, a lot of times that so snow and salt and stuff will need to start breaking down. This also means you're going to need to plan ahead and look at the weather ahead of time and have a plan to communicate with your customers the day ahead of time. Hey, it looks like snow might be in the weather. Make sure that you shovel before you leave in the morning. Um, if certain things happen, we won't be able to clean, and here's why. So those are some of my tips for snow and ice. Hopefully it helps. I'd love to hear in the comments what all of you do.